Samsung ships Galaxy Tab S10 FE with an S Pen in the box and in fact a lot of Samsung tablets come with an S Pen in the box and so it makes sense for Samsung to include a lot of S Pen settings. So let's go ahead and take a look at these settings. If you go in settings, go in advanced features and then go in S Pen and it will open up this dashboard where you can see a ton of settings. The first feature that you'll see here is Air Actions. Now unfortunately this only works with S Pen Pro and this is not an S Pen Pro that ships in the box. So even if you try to turn it on, it will tell you that you need an S Pen Pro and how to connect it. Next one is Air Command. So if we go in Air Command, uh, you'll get two menu styles. So this menu style is basically what happens when you press this button near the screen. So this menu style comes up because this is what I've selected here. If I select this one and do this again, this menu style will come up. Next, we have shortcuts. So you can select what shortcuts open up in this S Pen menu. So from here, you can add or remove these S Pen shortcuts. Then we have show a command icon. So I have this turned off because when you turn it on, there is this icon that is floating on the screen all the time and I don't like it. Basically, if it is there, you can just tap on it to bring up the menu. You don't need to press the button. So if that is something you prefer, you can do this. And then lastly, there is this option, open air command with pen button. So because I have this turned off, I have this turned on. So now I can just press the button to bring up air command. Next feature is air view. And this is actually a very helpful feature. The first thing that it does is that it shows you this pointer. So you know exactly where your S Pen is pointing and what you're going to tap. And the second thing it does is that it shows you previews when you hover it over something. So uh, let me show you an example of this. If I hover this down here, it turns into an arrow and even before touching the display, it starts to scroll up and down. I can hover it over an image and it will preview for me. There you go. You can do the same for videos. If you hover it over the video, the video will start previewing as well. And from here, you can also share it and delete it as well. So that's added functionality in the previews. And from here, you can turn on these features. You can turn on both previews and pointer or just pointer or previews. With S Pen, on this tablet, wherever you can type, you can also write and uh, the tablet will convert your writing into text automatically. So let me show you how this basically works. So for example, I go in Google Keep and I create a note now, because I am using an S Pen, it hasn't given me the keyboard. In fact, I have the option to just write with my S Pen and it will convert it into text. So there you go. It has detected it accurately. It basically depends on how good your handwriting is and how clearly you can write with the S Pen for your tablet to detect it and then convert it into text. Now, the settings for this are in advanced features and then go in S Pen and here you will find S Pen to text. So here you have to turn it on and you can see exactly what it tells you. With S Pen you can also take screen off memos. So even if the display is turned off, you can use S Pen to start writing and all you have to do is bring it near the display and tap this button and the display comes alive and now you can start taking notes on your tablet and then you can save it and finally you can access your screen of memos in samsung notes whatever you will jot down will be available in samsung notes and you can find it there and you can edit it further here as well and the settings for screen of memo can also be accessed in the settings in advanced features and if you go in s pen you will find screen of memos right here and you can turn it off or on from here if you're using your tablet and you want to quickly take a note you can do that without even opening Samsung Notes or any other Notes app. All you have to do is press this button on the S Pen and tap on the display twice and it will open up this Samsung Note pop-up window and here you can quickly jot down whatever it is that you want. You can access the settings for Quick Note by going in Settings, go in Advanced Features and then go in S Pen and here you will see this option Quick Notes. By default it's turned on but if you don't want it you can turn it off from here. A really cool S Pen feature that Samsung has added on this tablet is that whenever you're writing with S Pen you can turn on this option where the tablet will make the writing sound and it sometimes it feels really cool. So if I go in Samsung Notes and create a new note and I'm going to adjust my mic so you can listen this and it's amazing.